Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Welcome to the very first impressions of the Bubblot Pure Drive 98, the smaller head size version of the legendary power frame from Bubblot, competing with lines such as the Dunlop FX and the E Zone from Yonex. So this racket has a lot of power, high stiffness, 74 plus minus 7 points. It does feel quite stiff. So for you sensitive arms out there, I'd be a bit cautious. I strung it with uh, Razer Soft from Technifiber, this new string that I'm also testing. I wanted to see how if it can soften somehow and still retain the control of this Bubble Pure Drive 98. But it uh, moves relatively fast through, through the air. It's a little bit, I would say, um, high in swing weight. I haven't measured it yet, but I'm gonna do that. I would say it's, it's above 330, my copy at least, with this string, and that's a little bit high. But the power you get is impressive. So you get a lot of power from this racket. I was just knocking around with my father the other day, and uh, it was very, very powerful tough to control at times you do feel the high stiffness and my arm was a little bit sore i have had zero arm problems in recent months ever since i came to spain really and uh, yeah this one feels pretty pretty firm uh, i did string it at 24 kilos or 53 pounds that's uh, something i did because i want to retain some control because the ball wanted to fly out of the racket string but it was just very very powerful Great on serves, uh, great on, on shots where you're confident, like the, um, the forehand, I felt like I could easily hit winners. But on the backhand, it felt a little sluggish with the swing weight being quite high. Uh, a 300 swing weight, as you could see on the metrics there from, from Babola, it, it's going to end up at 330. Uh, so it's, it's not going to be very, very maneuverable. Uh, but for advanced players, which is what this racket is tailored towards, it's, yeah, it's a lot uh, to swing for... Uh, for guys like me and if you're a little bit lower in the level of, of play you you will struggle with this frame in my opinion i i think it is is a bit tough to use in the specs that they i got at least uh, my father did hit with it a bit and he actually enjoyed it uh, which he doesn't always do but uh, yeah it, it, uh, it is firm and he noticed that too uh, nice stability on volleys it feels rock solid with that stiffness and that swing weight it's a rock solid racket so that you get uh, but the maneuverability and the control will obviously suffer with these types of specs and i didn't notice that it's a significant improvement over the vs it feels maybe a little bit more solid quick sponsor break check out the singles playbook from fussy yellow balls they will teach you patterns how to beat certain types of players with different strategies and patterns of play full with videos lots of different chapters on beating pushers counter punchers serving volleyers and so on i found this product great i bought it over a year before they asked to sponsor some youtube videos for me so uh, check it out the link is in the description so if we look at the pros and cons of the pure drive 98 it has that pure drive heritage lots of power some spin lots of fun to play with obviously all this power you can hit big serves you can go big on the ground strokes plus one play aggressive take charge of the point so for advanced players that can handle the stiffness and the swing weight i think it's a great tool however for players with concerns about your arm or anything like that i think it will be tough to dial in the control and the comfort of the frame because if you go for a softer string slower tension the ball will fly a bit because of the high stiffness and the higher swing weight so it is a smaller target group uh, pretty clearly a more advanced demographic i would say but for those players that can handle it, I think it can be a huge weapon and you can win some points for free, for sure. And I, I did have a lot of fun, hit more aces than normal. So I must say that this frame is actually quite a lot of fun to use. And I will keep tinkering with it a bit with different string setups and so on and see if I can find a way through. So uh, make sure to look out for more second impressions when I've been testing it a bit more. But I wanted to get this out there because I've been getting loads of questions about this frame. And it's definitely nothing to ignore, but be a bit cautious if you have R problems. To add to that, I'm also testing the extended version from longbodies.com, the 27.5 has a higher swing weight. This one measured up at 334 strong swing weight, so a pretty beefy racket, also felt like that. The extended version is obviously more powerful, higher swing weight, has 347 on the swing weight machine. So very keen to see how that one plays, even more power might be tough for me to control, but I'm gonna give it a go. It's always uh, interesting that you can test both lengths. And I think if you're a player who like extended length, you get even more on serve, uh, a little bit more power in general, you should give them a 
You can check them out at longbodies.com. Small shout out to my friends there from Ring and Roll. That's all for this video. I hope you found it useful. And uh, this racket is an interesting one. I'm keen to hear your opinions. My friend Henrik actually really liked it. Thought it would be a winner for me. And uh, not quite there, but I generally um, could play well with this frame as well. It's just my worry a little bit about the stiffness, but maybe it's not too bad. The best way to support Tennis Nerd is to use the links in the description. Join Patreon where you get exclusive content every week. Or purchase the book if you're lost on rackets, the ebook and course, The Road to the Right Rackets. Anything you do to help, I appreciate it. The least you can do is subscribe. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. And don't forget to play some tennis.